So we are currently today at the former uh, UN safe zone at uh, Potocari near Srebrenica. So currently this building here is a memorial center for the genocide. When Drodko Mladic, the leader of the Republic of Srpska, the Serbian forces came here in July 1995, he gave the warning to the Dutch soldiers so they, they can either stay or die and leave and survive. So eventually the Dutch soldiers left the camp. So all of these 50,000 civilians uh, left unprotected. So that's how the genocide eventually happens. Ona je u ratu bilo skroz loše. Pucanje, ubijstva, pogibi, nedostate hrane, vode, higijene, medicine. Skroz loše. Moj otac je poginuo u ratu. Bio borac. I had the privilege to pass through the tunnel during the war. I uh, it was very hard, 800 meters. Water was up to here, and we went, uh, my mother and I, to Zenica, one little city, to get food there. Sarajevo was under the siege, so we didn't have anything here. So we went there, and uh, we were like savages in Zenica because uh, we smell, we smelled the food there. My friends died, a lot of friends. We were in the Villa, and we were in the Villa, and we were in the Ja sam imao sreć pa sam izvukao se u toj koloni smrte, do tuza i ostao sam živ. Svi moji su ostali koji sa mnom stano porodci i nisu uspjeli doći, odnosno Amir i Amir, brat. And those animals didn't choose, you know, babies or, you know, if you're so... It doesn't matter for them because Sarajeva was sniper alien and they saw us like this and we were constantly in shelters, we didn't have schools during the war, just 15 minutes per class, you know, in shelters. I remember when I landed, landed at the airport, I didn't have any experience and the uh, snipers were shooting on me and uh, I didn't know that it was sniper, snipers and the UN soldiers just, you know, jumped on me and, uh, and put me down because to save me. I could be killed immediately, instantly after coming back to Sarajevo. I po tu su bilo veliko pucanje, velike zasiri, veliko granatiranje, dan, noć, odvajanje od grupa, izgubi se, neki zaspevi, ljudi odu, onda se prikloniš nekim drugim ljudima, ne poznaješ jednostavno. Ja sam samo imao neku sretu od sudbinu, od dragog Allaha, da me sačuva, da mi ostaje na svijetu, na kušnju još. Sve zajedno krenuli? Sve zajedno svi krenuli. And even my house was destroyed when my baby, when my daughter was born in February 95. Uh, a few months after that, I was in the hospital 
And then I, I got a call from the director that I have to go back immediately to home because 120 shell grenade hit, uh, destroyed my upper level of the house at the whole roof. And my wife and the baby was down in the basement. So luckily uh, uh, nothing happened, but from the shrapnel, shrapnels from the shell, 120 millimeters, uh, one, one uh, neighbor was killed who was, who was in that time in the garden. Well, Bosnian and Bosnian people, they are ready to, to, to forgive, of course. And we, have, we, we want to continue joint life uh, because this is a general rule for the humanity to live together, to respect each other, to respect, to respect differences. So we, if you want to, if you want to be a real, real, real human being, you, you need to love everybody. It's not just a like simple phrase, that's a real, you need to love everybody. Then, then if, you, if you do that, you, you are the winner at the end. Yeah, I think that the future of Bosnia are definitely the young people that uh, have to find a um, common language between each other. Um, I feel like living here in Sarajevo, uh, we don't sometimes feel the, see the real picture of Bosnia, but when you move to other cities, especially smaller towns and areas, that's where you feel you know, the separation um, between people of all ages, you know, and especially it's sad to see the young people because we live in such an advanced age now where we have access to all the information and we can learn anything about each other, especially living with each other, you know. Um, so I believe that uh, the most important part would be educating all those young people about uh, history, about everything that we've been through, but also how to uh, find a common language.